Hi guys, some gamer dude here. I wanted to do something a little different today. I've always had a really big love of three and three quarter slash four inch figures. I like small figures, and that means I really like GI Joe and uh, associated lines. Today I want to talk about quite the uh, more interesting, contentious subject. I don't like Snake Eyes version two. I don't think it works as a ninja, I think the design is just horrible and it needs to be replaced. Now let's start with a proper ninja, Storm Shadow, one of my favourite figures, probably not my favourite version of him, but it's, yeah, it's, um, just so you can see, he's, you know, he's not weird or anything, Storm Shadow is the proverbial ninja, he just looks the part. Yes, the bright white means he fits on, in with the Naruto cast for a with their bright colours, but he's got all your ninja gear, your shurikens in his waist, he's got bows and arrows, he's got both a uh, long sword and a short sword, he's fully covered on the face, he's got the gi, he just looks great, he looks very slim, like he can move around really well. Compare this to Snake Eyes version 2, well the modern version of it. Uh, these are both from five packs, from nearly a decade ago now. Snake Eyes looks like a man in a gimp suit. I'm not even kidding you. It's just a horrible, horrible design. It doesn't scream ninja. It screams night gimp. Because the head always, to me, looked more like a knight's visor rather than a um, anything related to a ninja. It doesn't scream ninja is what I'm trying to say. Again, uh, look how thin he is. It's a bodysuit of some... It's a bodysuit of some description. And, um... It doesn't really scream military either. It just, it's just ugly. It's just an ugly design. Compare this to Snake Eyes version one and the best version of it. Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes. Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes is probably one of the best figures in the line. I mean, with a ton of accessories and just looking awesome. Look at that face. Now that, see, this is based on version one of Snake Eyes where he was a commando. And it just looks really, really good. It's got that um, stealth aesthetic to it, but it's got a military aesthetic to it. It just looks like it can handle things. Psycho is one of the best looking figures in the line. But if, if you want that counterpart to Storm Shadow here, who's a great one, it, it kind of works, but you want the swords and the ninja action. This one actually does come with uh, the ability to convert it into a uh, crossbreed of version 1 and version 2, but I like to leave it as version 1. What I actually think is really strange with this whole conundrum with uh, Snake Eyes looking like a knight's gimp, I guess would be the proper way to put it is, why not did the exact same thing better some oh, 25 plus years later for a buck? Say hello to Rain from the core. Rain is the head of the Shinobi team and now the head of the core, but this is the version that um, I could find and it's the Shinobi one. He's got a military look about him. He's clean, uh, other than the ponytail. He's got this uh, khaki look to him. The armor straight up looks like it's the um, Voyage Hidden in the Sand version of the Chunin armor from Naruto. He's got his gun on his leg. He's got his shuriken and his sword on the back. He screams ninja and military. This feels more like what both Ninja Force in G.I. Joe and Snake Eyes should have gone for. But of course Snake Eyes would have to be covered up. See, the thing is, for all the crap it gets, this is a really good figure from the core. We might talk about the core later on. They're a nice cheap uh, brand. Very, very good figures for how little you play. Amazingly good. Let's go back to this. The interesting thing about this figure is that in the Sigma 6 series, the G.I. Joe anime, yes, that is a thing that exists, and no, it's not very good. It, it lacks charm, and it's kind of boring. I just sat through the Sigma 6 anime, finished it today, it wasn't fun. I've had it on the shelf for years now, and I finally got around to it. But what it did do, it has a snake eyes where you have, instead of this visor thing in one flashback, it has a ninja headband that goes down into the visor so it's like 
Snake Eyes uh, via the cross Ryo Hayabasa from uh, Ninja Gaiden or Naruto, for example. Uh, if anything, it actually looks a bit like Jiraiya's from Naruto. Uh, th that's also what I'm watching at the moment. I'm finally getting around seeing it all the way through. Thing is, if you change this to be not a skin suit and actually something rather cool, and you change the visor so it'd actually look like a ninja headband and go down into the visor which Sigma 6 does and you just made the design look a bit less gimp knight because that's what it is it looks like a gimp knight look at those scrawny legs you can just see this man is wearing nothing at all nothing at all nothing at all and that's the problem look at again some shadow he looks like he's wearing clothes they're fairly tight because he's got uh, very tight shoes on but he's got clothes. Look at Snake Eyes version 1. He's got clothes. Look at again. Rain. He's got clothes. He's got proper leg uh, pants on. Snake Eyes does not have clothes on. And that's my entire complaint. There's later Snake Eyes such as Snake Eyes version 3 and Ninja Force Snake Eyes. Which I do think look much nicer. Do I? I don't really like it and I honestly wish Hasbro would either go back to Snake Eyes version 1 and replace Snake Eyes version 2 as the ninja character and the opposite of Storm Shadow and stop honestly doing the comic thing I'd like to see Spirit back I like Spirit or for the sake of diversity uh, bring in Jinx Jinx is a nice design she's very very bright and toyetic uh, that's it for today. I, if you like me talking about action figures, and that I can actually start reviewing action figures if you want. I'll probably make a different channel for it, but we can. I've got tons of action figures, probably way too many, and we can talk about GI Joe, the core. We could scream at the Power Team Elite type deal. We can look at all the assorted anime figures I have. Uh, there's lots to look over. We can look at vehicles. We can do all types of cool shit. But this has been some gamer dude, and I'll see you guys next time.